Okay, let's say you've been given a set of equations like this. We've got four equations, four unknowns. We have to solve for x, y, z, and w. Wouldn't it be nice if there was like a shortcut on the TI-84 to do this for you? It turns out there is if you have knowledge of matrices. The first step is we need to be able to write an augmented matrix for this system of equations. That is to say that we need to take this information, we need to transfer it into a, an augmented matrix, which can be done by just writing the coefficients. I have three x's, two y's, negative one p, one w, I'm going to put a dotted line here, that's the same kind of for my equal sign, my constants go on the right, that would be zero. I have one x, negative one y, four z's, two w's, and those add up to 25. I have negative two x, one y, two z's, negative one w, that adds up to two. I have one, 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 and that all adds up to six. Here is my augmented matrix. Notice it's just the coefficients transformed into this format of a matrix, or of a matrix. Now what I need to do in order to do this on the calculator, on the TI-84, are do the following steps. Step one, I have to enter the left side, this stuff here, into the TI-84. So I'm going to do that by going into the second matrix. I'm going to go over to the edit menu and I need to edit, I'm going to call, I'm just going to go ahead and edit A, okay? This is from the last video. I need to make this a four by four matrix, okay? So there's my four by four matrix and I need to simply enter those values in. So three, two, negative one, 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 negative one, four, two, negative two, one, two, negative one, and one, 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 one. So there's my four by four matrix entered in. Second, quit, get out of it. Now, the next step is I need to edit, I need to put this in as its own matrix. And if you're trying to figure out is it a one by four or a four by one, remember the memory device that we talked about in class, DO, right, do, down, then over. So it's four down, one over, it is a four by one matrix. I'm going into the matrix menu. I'm going to edit a second matrix. We're going to call it matrix B, okay? And that is a four by one matrix. Now I need to enter the values into that. So I have zero, 25, two, and six. Second, quit, get out of it. Now here's how we do the augmented matrix, and this is a little bit tricky. Go back into the matrix menu. I need to go to the math menu, and I need to look for, whoops, excuse me, Augment. That's what I'm looking for. Math 7. Okay, and I got to that by doing second matrix inside the matrix menu. I hit enter, and it brings up some parentheses. And so here's how I type in what I want to do. I want to take, I want to augment two matrices. I want to augment A with, and I use common here, which is right here above the 7. I need to go back to second matrix and under the names menu pick C. I want to augment a, a matrix A with matrix B. I'm going to in parentheses and then down here see the store button down here next to the one. I want to store that as a new matrix. I want to name it matrix C. So one more time take a look at what I've just done. I'm going to augment matrix A which is the left side of this with B which is the right side I want to store that as a new matrix. I'm going to call that matrix C. I hit enter. And I'm done. Notice that what it did, 3, 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0. 1, negative 1, 4, 2, 25, so on and so forth. It does not have the dotted line. Don't worry about it. We're still okay. Now what I can do to solve for x, y, z, and w easily is I'm going to go, I'm going to hit second quit. Okay, Get out of here completely. And what I can do is I can go back to second matrix, go back to math. I'm going to find the reduced row echelon form of our new matrix, matrix C. So I go to second math. You saw that. I just did R ref. If you don't know how to do this, you might want to go back and watch the other video I have. Second matrix for C. Hit enter. The reduced row echelon format is this. And so what it tells us is that if I were to reduce this matrix to its reduced row echelon format, I would get the following. 1, 0, 0, 0, dotted line, 3, 0, 1, 
zero, zero dotted line number two, zero, zero, one, zero, five, and zero, 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 one, zero. Which is a quick way of telling us then that x is equal to three, y is equal to negative two, z is equal to five, and w must be zero. How handy is that?